Call this me regular meeting of City Council to order here at City Hall, May 18, 2021. Uh, have an addition to the agenda an executive session, non elected personnel regarding the pool. Are there any other additions to the agenda this evening? I think you have one 10 minute just to brief council on some stuff tonight. Please. How long, Alan? Just 10 minutes. What's well, the exception? The not elected? Yeah, not elected. Yeah. Or, yeah. For an employee? No, not an employee. Um, How long is yours, Mark? Attorney Clay. Excuse me? How long is yours? 10 minutes up, sir. Yeah, that would be great. That actually, that would be perfect. Cool. Thank you, yes. So, Attorney Klein, for losing that, that would be good. Are there any other additions to the agenda? I'll make a motion. Clear. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I add something? Hmm? We, I had an issue come up to me on the hearing Thursday about a dangerous dog. I need the council to consider appointing an assistant city attorney on an interim basis to handle that, that hearing if it happens. You know, just put that under you? Yeah. Okay. That's I guess I'd make a motion to approve the addition to the agenda. If we need to change it. Well, what we already had a. The other one needs to fall for. Based nobody, I guess you need to see who votes for the last one because he already seconded it. So. Have you already made the motion? Yeah, he made the motion. Second. Vote on that one, then we'll. Okay. Add, yeah. All right. Addition. All in favor for the first uh, additions, raise your hand. Motion carries. Okay, and you're making the motion for that one, and who second that? Second motion for John's. Uh, I'll second. Okay, motion and second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. Okay, is there any citizens' comments this evening? Okay, consent agenda. Approved minutes, regular council meeting, May 4th, 2021. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. Appropriation Ordinance 0518-2021, excuse me, 2021, in the amount of $37,590.62, and petty cash in the amount of $171.86. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. Okay, moving on to department heads. Electrical department, Jeff. Well, if you came around the east side of the building, you could see the first one. I, uh, we had an outrigger down on the truck that I did not see when I went to pull it back in. You know, we always pay attention and pull them up, but we'd finished the deal out at the fire station and I, you know, whether we were in a hurry or what happened, it didn't get pulled up and those doors were narrow. And I'm the guy that caught it. I caught it with an outrigger and took the pier out of it. So, um, we're going to get some estimates on it and see about whether, uh, it's less expensive to put a wide door in there for both holes or whether we want to put those doors back separately because the one on the bucket truck is really narrow. We've got about four or five inches on the mirrors when we pull it in. So anyway, if we get some prices together on that, then we'll be back with you and tell you what we found out. So um, we got the wire down in the country. We're ready to pull poles. All except for one last span next to town. We got a little insulator work to do in the morning time down, and then it'll be ready to pull everything out and clean it up, and it'll be done. I uh, I bought a breaker box to put at the well house so we can protect that motor down there when we turn it on. There's and the the breaker boxes burn up anyway from the heater. We're going to have to have heat back in there one way or the other. So we just went ahead and bought a panel to put in there. We'll get the three-phase run out there and uh, set it up because eventually we'll have to have a meter on it anyway, so we'll just do it before we, 
and we've still got to contact our stuff to see if we can make it work. So hopefully in the next few days we'll, we'll get that in and then we'll be ready to test it well. So uh, I think the guys are getting close to putting the door in on the south wall. I have not heard any more on the engine as far as what happened after the radiator incident and that stuff or whether they're ready to move it down. Cliff was going to let me know and I haven't heard anything. So. Other than that, just regular daily stuff. We've been helping Jason a little bit get the fire station stuff done and some of that. So okay. that's where we're at. Anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns for uh, Jeff? That well was out of hold last time in '98. Is that what that paperwork said? It was out in '98. Yeah. And I think David told me he thought it was shut down in nine or ten. So it's been set in ten years anyway. As long as the shaft's not froze up, you know, there's right. a good chance we can pump it. Right. Um, Jason bought a 45 to put on there so we can shoot it out the door. Yeah. So we don't have to pick it up and reset it or any of that. So we'll just give it a shot and see. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah. And it was acidized in 98 too, I think, when it came out. It was, <coughs> if it acts funny, it probably because it needs acidized again, probably. Probably. So. I'm sure it is because I'm sure the screen's not perfect yeah. by any means. So. But we'll try and get it put together and see what happens from there. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where you want to go after that. So. Any other questions, comments, or concerns? Moving on. Water Department. Jason. Well, on that note of the, on the well two, I sit there and took the uh, water meter out and also took the check out. I sit there and seen Ryan going down the street. I stopped him, showing, and it's the the bolts on top of that check is a just about gone. There's no bolt. You can't even tell it's a bolt on that left. That's stuff. So to let that to say on that, I'm not for sure what we want to do. I could try to mess with it, but I just got a feeling it's not going to work. And the, the flapper on it, it's so hard. I had to sit there and just hit it down with a shovel, and her up with a hammer handle, and it went down. And then I pulled the meter, and when I pulled the meter, I took it out the raindrop. The lady out there took some pictures, meanwhile laughing at me, looking at it, because it's so old. <laughs> and so she took pictures, sent it off, and uh, she called me back about two hours later and sat there and says, well, I called the gentleman, he said they're outstanding meters, but if it gets to that point as old as it is, and to, to get it calibrated, you might as well just look at getting another one. So we, there's that. And so I just sat there and says, well, we'll go from there and then let's discuss it down the road, what you guys want to do. When she called me, she sat there and said that the new meter is around 2200 and then they're also, the gentleman's looking at putting a transmitter on there to run from, the, from that meter to run to the VFD and to more give it, the, to give it to uh, more terms on that because I asked for sure what it did and she said the VFD does the work but the, that transmitter from the meter tells it how to do the work. And she said that that gentleman sat there is really a push of those because it really makes it more efficient of how to run that car. <clears throat> so I'm just throwing that out there as well. And then, uh, of course, like I said, we got, or we got the fire plug installed. We will get the dirt out of there. We're trying to get that mud to dry up so it doesn't make a uh, mess there. And we'll get that picked up pretty quick. And of course, the pool's done. He called me and sat there and said he could fill it flat the next, the last of this week or the first of next. And then, uh, let's see, I think that's it for the water. And on the sewer, I just wanted to bring up the, about the, I don't know if you guys heard, but the back truck went down. It's been down for a while. We've been trying to baby it, but it's finally went down. And we got the gentleman, we got the gentleman to come here from, uh, What's the name of it? Key equipment. Yeah, key equipment. And he sat there and looked at it and looked at it. Meanwhile, we had put two valves in the side of it. Didn't help. So he sat there and got it, called it, called the people and told them what was wrong with it, and it looked like the pump was out. So he got back with us, Jeff, and, and everybody had sat there and set a new pump for that. Or, uh, to get, take it in, take it off, take it to Kansas City, get it done. It's going to be around 15 times. He said that's high ball. So I just I want to know what you guys want to do about that. If we want to get the pump going, if not, the only thing we're going to be able to do with that truck is just back. There will be no washing, no nothing. 
no cleaning sewers with it, and it's gone. We had tried after we put the new ones in. I got in there, started up, and revved it up, and it shot two of the the bolts out of the pump out of it because it pressured up so much it wasn't working the valve. Right. So they probably have to heal it, coil, or fill well, it. He said they would. He said they would replace it. They yeah, they would heal it. Work. But the piston, that piston pump, half of it is water, half of it's hydraulic. So that's what works back and forth. And he said that uh, the he thinks side. that the piston has come loose inside of that pump yeah. is what's done. It, so. But the truck's 1985. I mean, it's it's got a lot of age on it. So. You can still suck with it. You just can't. Jet it. We can just we can't have it. Yeah. yeah, we can't put it. Any we can't use it. The good thing about that is, is uh, what we like using it for most of all too was when we uh, were close to the lines, telephone lines, gas lines. We could take that and pack that out and get around it and find that stuff before we go. And that's one of my big issues of pushing that forward. But, and then use it also in case the trailer goes down again or something. We have a backup. How's everything else mechanically on the truck? Transmission, motor, brakes, and stuff? The, everything's good. We got a little seal problem. And then the other the seal problem is leaking out of the seal a little bit on the back driver's side tire. But the other problem we got to fix, and we're going to do that during the winter time, is the, the hose, the vac hose that comes down, you know, comes out of the top and goes down to the, the hole. That extension on that is leaking oil pretty bad. So we try not to use it. If I do, I just leave it right where it is because it'll soak the oil in a matter of... The cylinder's in case. It's, yeah, we're it's still in that in slide, it's it's inside a box. It. And it's going to be fun taking it off. We're going to have to like. take a but bigger truck to pick it up to slide it apart. That could be a good winter project, and we don't have to worry about that right now. <clears throat> Motor we could do that. Motor ourselves. transmission. I mean, I'm just. Wasn't yeah. the truck like sixty thousand or something? The new truck's five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. No. It's not They've got a used one. They might sell us for a hundred and thirty when they get done with it. Is that BTO driven? That pump? It's air shift. Yeah, it's BTO. Yeah. Well, the motor's good. I mean, it runs good. The vac's good. The little motor in the vac's good. They could use a tune-up on the carburetor probably because I have to have a choke for just for about 15 minutes until it warms up real good. Well, it'll suck my dough. It'll <coughs> suck. Yeah, it, you could lose a hat in there pretty easy. And that's all in Kansas City. You're gonna come get the pump, take, take it down, take it up there. Oh, truck okay. here. Yeah. And the one exceed 15, you said. That's, that's what, what he said. He said high said high ball yeah. that. The piston is big. It's probably yay big around it about this long so it's up underneath the truck. So we figure we can get a big floor jack under there and we can get it in where we can get all under and we can pick it up and slide it down there and load it with our bigger truck and then he'll take it to Kansas City, rebuild it and bring it back. He said he'd stay there while they rebuild it. He said I'm not gonna take it and leave it two weeks. He said we're gonna take it in, tear it down, put it back together, bring it out and bring it back. A matter of two or three days. It's been a good truck five or six years, isn't it? It was right before I got on the council <coughs> Yeah, that pump really hasn't been the perfect thing. But you're supposed to be able to just sit there and kick that switch on and that idle way and shoot a pretty good stream and we'd have to rev it up and then But this last time I did it, I mean it kind of fucked and, hit and it shot those two right out of there. So we thought that was that's it. All relative to the cost of the machine, it's really not I mean Kind of part for a course on some of that stuff. I don't. Seems like a lot of money, but it's not in the big scheme of things necessarily. I just soon have a functioning truck all the way around rather than just <coughs> working. Yeah. The reason I got it out to get it going is we. I was going to sit there and back those tree stumps out there so I could maybe cut it, find all those things and find our water lines, and not cut the water lines, and cut the roots. But it didn't work out that way. <coughs> I'm okay with getting it fixed. I just, I'd rather see it fixed now than waiting. Yeah. It needs fixed. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. Need a motion. No. What, what was that key equipment? Yeah. We have. I make a motion to have key equipment uh, remove and repair the pump on the back truck for $15,000 or less. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. Okay. 
And the other thing on sewer, I didn't know if you guys got this. I think Jamie put that in there. You didn't? Okay, what this is, is remember the other spare pump for the 5th Fifth Street station, lift station? Well, he says, apologies for slip, or slipping through the cracks, our end, blah, blah, blah. And the pump, he said the grinder pump is needing a new cord, needing this, that, and the other. And the main thing he said there, it says, uh, full rebuild, new cable, and repair cost is substantial in comparison to a new unit. New unit is available and also available quicker. And the price they have on that one, as of May 6th, was 3694 And so I just wanted to know if you guys wanted a spare pump. Um, that's what we needed. Uh, that's what I was wanting to see, if it's okay or not. $3,694. Yeah, $3,694. We took our old pump in there and tried to get it fixed, and it's just as fancy. Yeah. It's, it's more expensive than So we've got two in there now, right? Yeah. yeah. This is, we'd sent one of them for... Yes. Just to be rebuilt for yeah, we, 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 we had to buy that. We had to buy one of them, and then so that's what it was on that. We so. upsized those pumps when that was first in there. They were really small, and then when the grocery yeah. store went in, we put bigger pumps in. Yeah. And then this little, this one's still the little one, and so they're going to bump it up to that bigger one. Like we got sort of match all three. Would it replace the one out Cherry Lane? No, no it's totally different. Those are above ground. Yeah. Yeah. They're on a vacuum. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. We wished it would. Yeah. Make it a whole lot easier. Pretty cheap in terms of things. Yeah. Got to yeah. have it. So do I have a motion for that? I'd make a motion to spend $3,694 on a spare sewer lift pump. So. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. <coughs> motion carries. Okay. Um, we have someone here from Meyer. Yes. Uh, you, Austin, is it? Austin. Uh, right. motion. So, what do you have for us? Well, I was called, and I believe you guys have some question on material or installation or just general all around or. What were some of you guys' concerns? And what are we getting for the money? I mean, what what is it? Uh, this I, I had brought it. You can pass this around. The Nova form is actually it's a. I I apologize. I only printed out seven. That's okay. Um, the Nova form is it's a PVC liner. The best way to explain it is it's it's exactly the same as like stick PVC, but when they're on the extruder instead of cutting it at stick length. They pull it through a machine that actually flattens it and they pull it onto a coil. And then we come in and we'll steam it and pull it through the line, cut it, and then it gets steamed again so it's soft. And then we'll put air pressure to it and it expands it out. So, I mean, it's the same material as like if you were to open, cut, and dig and install a new PVC pipe, it's the same except for you're going to have a jointless PVC pipe from manhole to manhole. And then after the installation, we'll go back in and robotically cut in all the services that are there. The ones that are there, but factory cap, we it'll be up to you guys, but we probably won't reinstate those because that's just another point for infiltration to come in the system. But um, I don't know. Do you, do you have so any that more that'll, that's going to just fit to the diameter of the line. Yes. Yeah. Because as far as it's the same material and the process, as far as making it is the same but it's actually extruded to a different outside diameter than like if you were to get a eight inch stick pipe right this outside diameter is the inside diameter of like an eight eight inch clay pipe and it will if you look at this if you measure this we're at about nine right now it will expand out to form a, a close fit liner to whatever the existing pipe is, but there's a there's a small range. We can't expand it from like an eight to a twelve. There's not that much expansion. Right. So that's the product there. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. It looks just like P that's the product. I mean, yeah. yeah. It looks just like PVC. I'm no, no, it, it is PVC. It's it's the same formula as like the normal. You basically pack. put it in hot though, right? Yeah, we we. It'll come in on, I think it's page yeah, three, four, or, three. yeah, it, it comes in on a co all coiled up, and then we yeah. steam it, and you have to get it to a certain skin temperature, and then once it's soft enough, I mean, it's, it's pliable, and then you have to pull it through, and then you have to let it 
relax and set and then you'll cut it to length and then you'll insert steam plugs on each end and then you start applying steam again and then you kind of increase the temperature and the pressure to slowly get that expansion you get a tight fit and I mean the pressures and temperatures are a big deal but one of the biggest deals is at the end of the manhole you'll see it start to bell and that's where you get your mechanical lock and you know you're fully expanded and then once we have full expansion we cut the steam and we start just putting normal air pressure to it and that cools it and we hold the air pressure on it while cooling it until we get below 100 degrees and then it can't fall down it, it retains it I mean as you can see it retains its shape I mean you can stand on it so but it, it, I mean, it is PVC pipe. It's pretty neat. That is not at all what I was expecting. Yeah. It's pretty good at staying that thickness through the hole. Yes. Yeah. And, and one, of, some of the big benefits of this over, because this and then CIPP are the two major ones on the market. The, the, the big deal with this is this is all factory tested as far as when they do a batch run and you know they're coiled because when you get a job I'll put through okay I have these lines this manhole to this manhole and they will extrude it and on the outside of the coil it will say manhole number this to this so you know exactly which one you're putting it into but during that batch run, that same piece of pipe that's coming off, they cut sections off of it and they do factory tests just like brand new PVC pipes. So you know your test rates and everything else prior to even putting it into the ground. Where like traditional CIPP, it gets wetted out and pulled in and blown out and then steamed out. But usually they have to cut like a cookie and then send it off and you don't know your act, you know, you have a good ballpark of your, your test rates, but you don't know what goes into the ground until you get it back and it's already cured in the ground. So. And I'm assuming that they, uh, when they do the, uh, um, your quality does testing, they pretty much go to the extreme yes. of what they're doing? Yes. Yeah, well, they go to the extreme, but they also make sure that it meets every strength that when we advertise, we give a spec sheet of yes, it can right. handle this much tension, the, the modulus. Right. They they test it to make sure it at least it at least meets it, if not surpasses it. Okay. And they're also third party certified as far as it's not just them in house testing it. Mm -hmm. Now, not every single batch gets third party, but all their numbers that they state, they're third party certified from an outside test house to say yes, the numbers they're claiming, we have gotten those or more, so they're good. Excellent. I would assume that if we've got like a busted pipe clear in half, that once you put this through, it's going to bring everything back. I mean, mm, to to an extent, it's. Um, I mean, it's not. If, if you've got a collapsed pipe, it's not going to push it back straight and round. That would be either like an open cut point repair, or sometimes depending on if the. If there's a void out, say if you can TV it and you can see that there's an existing void, sometimes you can go in with an internal um, sectional point repair and we put a packer in there and we'll put it in, air it up, let it cure, and that, it, if there is a void, it can air it back up and then that will hold it and then we can line through that. But if there's no void, there's a lot of soil pressure to try and overcome because when I say we put pressure to it to expand it out, I mean, we're probably talking 8 PSI, so it's it's not a ton of pressure. We do have some serious issues like that. Though. Well, and I mean, you guys can read everything, so I mean, you kind of know. I mean, but this is going to take care of our big problems. Yes. On yes. The worst one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and there there's a there's a cutoff point where like when we're reviewing the video, because even though we camera log all of it. When we come into line, there will be an, another complete pre-TV marking off all the services, seeing which ones are active, which ones have factory caps, and this, that, and the other. And hearing that, if there's something that we can't line through, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, well, let's just try and see what happens, because you end up in getting in trouble when you do stuff so like that. So you guys are going to run the camera back through before you line? Yes. It. Well, prior to lining, we got to run the camera, get all of our measurements. And then we also have to pre-clean pre -clean all of it to get it to where we can't line with 
roots hanging in or you know what I mean they, it's got to be a clean pipe prior prior to us pulling the liner in and expanding out because you can line with it but you'll end up if there's a root ball you'll end up seeing that little bit of a bubble behind there where the root ball is compressed in between the original hose pipe and, and the new liner so it's just not best practice at all so as far as the taps go every time there's a tap <coughs> There won't be any liner in the tap. Like no. if there's roots going growing in the tap, then each tap to dig up the tap. Then yeah, I mean there's no there's no uh, liner inside the tap. It just pretty much is a hole through your liner after you go through. It. Yes, it, it's it's just basically a four inch right. robotically cut hole. There's nothing right. up into the tap. Right. But I mean that's kind of across the board no matter what lining style you're going to do unless you go right. through and pipe burst it but when you're pipe bursting you're going to have to dig every single one of those up before you pull it through anyways so how long have you guys been using this stuff um we've only been using it for probably about six months but we've been like it's been a long process for us like getting in getting into it me and another one of the project managers we went to pennsylvania and then we also there's some up in Kansas City being done. We had, just to make sure that this is one a technology like we can support and gladly put in and tell people we offer, but two that it's going to work for us and we it's a good workflow for us. You know what I mean? Um, we're a little on the conservative side when it comes to we we don't like to just jump into stuff because it honestly it's probably been years coming that we should have done something but we just want to be sure when we're looking at stuff and installing stuff that it's going to be in the ground for years to come without a problem right. so I yeah got, go ahead I just well, have questions that right now 50 year plus service life I mean I guess part of me thinks that's a really long time but part of me doesn't think that's a really long time I mean, yeah that I is mean, that's a, surely an extremely conservative number isn't it that's kind of the one of the ASTMs for like lining is they require that you can at least 50 plus so everybody puts if if they meet that it's 50 plus I, I don't know anybody that's got you know there are some liners that have been in probably since the 60s ish but like anything past that it's not really known right the technology wasn't available yeah we're not yeah so it's, it's hard to say you know in another 50 years a ton, a ton of these technologies may say 100 plus because we now actually have the physical data to say, yeah, this was installed this date, and it's still great. Right. So, but I, one of the biggest things for this is, I guess, like, if you guys had a, a new neighborhood going in or anything like that, I mean, what's the material you guys would be specking for the sewer? PVC. PVC. That's, I mean, that's what we're going back in with. You guys are going to have PVC throughout whatever we're lining. I don't remember the, the camera pictures, Jason. They're mainly holes in the side of it or joints where roots are growing in. Is that, is that correct? Is that, is that what right. mainly our problems are in town? Well, there's some of them that actually had holes or broke. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. broke. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're but nothing like separated pipe where there's half the pipe. There might have been, you, you know, know the, Am I right when they were saying I noticed some of them had a little, you know, they were offset. Yeah, there before. there were some so some of them that like were this. were offset, but nothing <coughs> past what we would consider you can't line through. Because gotcha. okay. the manufacturer their their thing is is if the offset is more than twenty to twenty five percent, I mean you can line through it and you wouldn't have a problem, you'd still have a flow, but they don't really recommend that. Right. They they would recommend an open cut repair to get it lined up. Right. So Especially if the offset is your upstream side is down, so you're not building up silt and you know solids there. So, but no, from reviewing the videos, I mean you guys have a ton of fractures, a, a lot of stuff at the joints, a lot of roots, and like I said, all of that needs to be it'll it'll be cleaned out prior to the lining. And then once this is in, this is the new pipe. I mean. The hose pipe will still give some structure because obviously it's still standing now. But if the hose pipe was to disappear, this is fully structural as far as you could dig it up and take it away and then bury it, bury it again. With this just left, and you're good to go. 
that cleaning, cameraing, and everything, obviously, that's included in this 150 feet. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That, that's that, 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 that per foot price is us coming out, cleaning, cameraing, installing, cutting everything back. I mean, what's the what's your time frame? Um, I'd have to get with the manufacturer as far as because last time I checked, usually the lead like if I come out and get all my measurements of which runs I want on which reels and this that and the other, they're like three to four weeks on being able to manufacture it, get it on the reels, and then hopefully shipping's been crazy for us as far as concrete and this, but hopefully another week, so four to five weeks to get the material. And Probably to come out when we get it. How do you do that when uh, you go in there and mine it? You shut everybody down on dumping water in the sewer? Or yes. How do you do that? Yeah. Um, basically, go through, well, not only shut everybody down, but there are a couple lines as you get closer to where it leaves town that there is flow also. And that, the, that number includes bypass as far as us plugging off one of the manholes so there's no flow while we're doing it, cleaning and bypassing to the next manhole down so that the flow is continued except for the section we're working on. That section, usually we put out door hangers hopefully like a week to a little over a week before and then usually 48 hours to 24 hours prior we try and make another saying, hey, we put out a door flyer, we're going to be lining this pipe, please reduce water usage, especially anything like showers and baths and you know washing clothes, anything heavy. I mean. They can use the restroom if need be or wash their hands, but yeah, for probably four to maybe six hours, that, that line, the residents on there need to reduce water use. And then once we're done, we'll go in and cut open all of them to get whatever is there drained out and then plug it off again to do the final cleanup uh, to, to get them really clean. Well, the, the service life is 50 years. I mean, does that mean the warranty, or does there a warranty with it? Um, the typical warranty is a one year for us on as the installation. I do know that they warranty this material, the material itself, from defects for 10 years. So, but most day, whether we're doing manhole rehab or uh, internal point repairs or this line, the kind of the standard is one year. Okay. What, is there any at all any maintenance that's, that'll be done? I mean, obviously, when the guys clean them out, but there's no. But like, as far as because this is in, you guys are going to have to do this additionally. Is that what you're saying? Like no. additional maintenance because of the lining, or after it's in? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's literally. I mean, it's pretty much PVC. It's just yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 treat, no, you treat it the same as you would a normal PVC sewer. I just don't want like the nitrate plant where we're spending so much every so right. often on yeah. whatever it is. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's the same as normal PVC. Right. Yeah, they like I said, the easiest way to think about it is it's stick PVC but rolled up on a coil, and then we pull it in, and you have one stick manhole to manhole. You know, we had another bid from another company, and they called it like uh, what, what, Instaform or something, or what was that? There was another in situ form. Is, yeah. Okay. What What is that? Is that is in that in no in situ form is um, <clears throat> it's not fiberglass, but it's almost it, it's it's a felt liner with a epoxy resin in it, and that's what I was saying that they make. Each, it's the same as this as far as they make a sock to the length manhole to manhole and it will be wet out with resin when they're here. They will wet it out and then they will inflate it through the line and then the equipment we use and they use as far as steaming and stuff like that, it's all pretty much the same. They'll steam it but theirs is not to soften it and inflate it out. Theirs is to actually cure the epoxy and then after that then they'll take a cookie of it and that's where the that material gets its test from. Okay. So it's probably a thinner product than this. Um I mean anywhere from four to six mils thick is usually what what they are. It's more of a th I'm just saying more of a liner liner than the actual brand new piece of pipe in there. Yeah. I mean it's it, 
they're in situ forms the I, I won't say the big dog, but they're the original the the original liners and then everybody else stemmed from them on the stuff. Anybody else have any other questions? Can I ask you, is there any, any doubt in your mind after seeing the material now? <clears throat> I, love, I love it. Like, I don't like it. It's a really neat idea. Huh. I yeah, love, it, I like seems, it, it seems ridiculously simple, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really does. That's not at all what I was expecting. That's, yeah. that's not at all what I was expecting. And that's, I, I don't want to say I had a light bulb moment, but a couple years ago when we were like starting to look into this, I, I understood the process, but when we finally went on site and started watching some installations and we were watching it and then they cut off because we actually come out of the manhole with the PVC pipe so there's like a stove pipe to send the steam down and then after it's done it all gets cut off and cut flush with the manhole walls and when they cut that piece off I go I don't know what I was expecting but I go this is like stick PVC pipe and the the guy with the manufacturer he's like that's what I was telling you the whole time I'm like well I don't know what I was thinking in my mind but yeah it's <laughs> stick PVC pipe yeah. How do you guys do the payment on it if we went through with it? What do you mean? Just how, how much up front and afterwards? What? Oh, I don't know if you guys work, work, work with us typically, but when we're done, it, it, in, unless this takes, like if it's a multi-month thing, we'll probably send you a bill month, oh, right. monthly, but I mean, this should be finished in a month. So if, if it was something longer, you know, that's where we bill monthly. So in theory, maybe by the end of July or first of August, you would be done. Yeah. If we made the decision. Yeah. Yeah. The I mean the citizens are going to ask us how like how long do you see them having to reduce their water consumption? Uh, roughly four, four, four to six hours on any given like it, like I said, we'll we'll put out door hangers to let them know the date that's coming, and then try and make contact with them again. The biggest ones is there's a couple lines. I don't know how much flow, but there was one behind the lumber lumber yard and like the bank and the post office. When I went and looked at them, there wasn't a ton of flow. But usually, when there's businesses like that, those we try and give a little bit more notice and try and work with them a little more, or try and do it towards towards after hours for them just for the fact of I know like if you're running a business you can't be like oh no you can't do anything or so those were a couple of mine and then there were a couple lines because this all says eight inch but when I was going back through there are a couple of lines when I was looking that are ten I'd have to look I can't remember the count but there's two of them, yeah. yeah ten and then maybe one twelve does so that, does that make that that wall thinner at that point no, it's it's a different. If it's if it's made for eight inch, it's made for eight inch. Right. If it's made for ten, it's made for ten, twelve, and that's I. We can expand a little bit, but just like normal PVC, if you put a lot of air pressure to it, you try and push past, you'll end up cracking it and blowing through. So now it's like the ten will be come off of the line for the ten inch liner and be put on a, a separate reel. It's not all the same. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I need a refresher. This 7556 feet that we came up with is remind me how we arrived at that. Who were they in on that helping? Jason and and then got that all of that measurement. Yes. Yeah, we just went we just went through the camera. Right? These are just, the worst ones though, right? <coughs> yeah. This 150. I, what was it? I named them through one, two, and then these are the four. Yes. And four. Yeah. Okay. And then one or two. The camera. Yeah. Right. One and twos were just hairline cracked mainly. Then I got to the threes and fours where the holes offset that far, uh, major you know major hole, just holes and cracks. So, so if we do this, Jason, we should be good to probably for three to five years to build back up our funds to finish out the the ones and twos. I don't honestly. I don't even know if I'd worry about the one and twos. I would try to get some more. Of the other lines, camera to see if there's any more threes and fours. Threes that we and don't fours. Know threes and fours. That's what, yes. Section off the town and come up with a plan every five 
if that makes sense. Yeah, the spots you had cameras were places that you had to clean out. You, you had to tip the yeah. 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 issues. And the good thing about this one is all the structures, all the structures will be done. And so. That looks, that looks good. Thanks. So. Do so you guys have any more questions? Or I can't say the funds. We're, we're comfortable with that. We already talked about it. Yeah, I mean we're good fund wise. Um, I am going to try to do some more checking on that money that's coming in because I. I do. I feel like water and sewer is going to be an option for it, but um, I mean, if the work's not done yet, that would still be an option. As far as I'm So, I mean, it would be. It's a. It's perfect timing, really, because we don't. If that's what it needs to be used for, we don't have another project in mind at this. You gotta stand on this piece. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I mean, we got two hundred thirty-six thousand in the sewer replacement. Right. I mean, that still leaves us eighty-two thousand yeah. no, dollars. Yeah. No, that's what's there for that. Right. 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 What are we gonna do with all the stove pipes? Four and a half years. We get you a small. Thirty-five thousand. That that is pretty much what we put. Thirty-five thousand. So unless there's any more questions, yeah. we have a motion on the table. I'd make a motion that we uh, hire Mayor Specialty Services to rehabilitate our 8 inch sanitary sewer pipe in the amount of $154,898. Well, the quote, whatever it is. Okay, I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. All right. Thank you very much for coming in and uh, answering all the questions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know yet. But there's, there's, there's plenty of them. There's got to be like something. You just chop them apart and throw them away right now. Yeah, there's got to be something you can do with them. Why east side of the building, Jeff? Yeah, maybe we can put them up between the doors. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, John, that'll take me a while to get back on that one. But I'll get you. Sooner or later. That was probably cruel. I clipped the door with an outbreak truck the other day and took the whole side of the wall. Okay. Moving on to, unless we've got anything else under water department. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you guys for your time. Okay, unless there's anything else under a water, um, the water department. Somebody will need to sign that. Yeah. Okay, you guys got the, the hydrants done done at the fire department? Uh, yeah, we just, I just need to get, that drilling mud really threw a kink in it. We had to get get it out and it just muddied up okay. everything. Okay. And I just didn't want to scatter everywhere, so I just left it until it's going to dry and then we can get it out a lot of the Anything else? Okay, moving on to street. Park Department, what you got, Jason? Oh, not much on there, guys. It's like I said, I am still waiting uh, to get warmed up. I could start milling those streets now, but those teeth are eight hundred dollars a piece just for that little drum. So I, I, I don't want to be spending left and right of eight hundred dollars just because it's still cold. The chat's all here. So, but yeah, the chat's still here. <laughs> the chat's all here. <laughs> so <laughs> the chat's here, ready to go, and. Uh, and we're just looking at just getting things warmed up on that. And so as far as uh, mowing, looks like everything's going good, I guess. It is. Okay. I, I, she's, I got you. She's kind of the mower lady there. So. And then, guys, I hate to sit there and say one word, equipment's down. I, we went to go grading yesterday. Alan was going to practice some more. And there's lights blinking all over the thing because the brakes have lost power on the grading. So he was worried about it. He called me. I said, "Just bring it back and let's figure out what." So he got the book out. He started calling some people, and uh, I think he uh, who did he call Barry Barry Tractor. I told him to call Barry Tractor, and so he's going to come out and look at it. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. That's kind of what Alan said. So we're going to stick with what he says and hope to get us a good. It's a hundred and seven or eighty dollars yeah, for the part. Labor the if that was the problem, but I he said, "Can I call him to come out?" And I said, "Yes." Because I don't want this little thing of us trying to do it, and that's not it. And next thing we know, we got four grand in the thing. 
when, when we should have just called him at 1100. So I'm just letting you know about the grader. That's why I, the streets aren't perfect. That's why we haven't gotten the grader yet. So other than that, that's about all I have for right now on the streets. Just still trying to do the pothole thing and stuff until it gets warmer. Anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns for Jason? Jason, um, it's been brought to the, uh, my attention that the uh, um, the alleyway between the bus parking, the school bus parking over here, and uh, Stymate's property, that little alleyway, there's some uh, holes there. Uh, if uh, somebody could go over there and uh, fill those in, and also behind the uh, library, uh, that alleyway right there, it's starting to uh, get kind of holy over there. We're so to drag that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll get those. If, yeah, when you have time. On there. We were going to do it today, but. Uh, Dave was off today, and so I was out helping him, or I was going to start dragging some out. Okay. Well, they mowed with a tractor, so <laughs> yeah. it wasn't right. available. Thank you very much on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And unless anybody's got anything else for uh, Jason regarding the streets and parks, move on to police department. Chief Adams. Um, not a whole lot. We've been keeping, keeping busy. We've had uh, kind of a rash of uh, dog bites uh, in town, so we have been housing uh, some dogs for lengthy periods of time, um, usually minimum 10 days for each one. I think we were up to three here this last month. Um, we did get the shed finished up, or um, Jesse's construction got the fed, uh, shed finished up down there at the uh, pound, so we just got to get stuff moved over, and then that way we can, we can be done um, in that little shed, which we get dinged on every year from the state uh because our there's no door or anything so it's nice that that shed's finally done and we're finished up with it um we are going to be one officer down uh at the end of this week for a month with one going on military leave um so we're we're adjusting schedule and getting ready for that in jubilee um click it or tickets coming up we start that may 21st to the 31st um we do receive pretty good funds we bought a lot of equipment last year free of charge um, just for watching people wearing seat belts. So uh, we will be out working that again. I think last year we ended up total was $1,500 from the state that we got free of charge uh, to buy roller tapes uh, and equipment and different things that we needed. So it's going pretty good. Um, other than that, really, that's pretty much uh, what I got for this, and then we'll discuss more later. Anybody have uh, any questions, comments, or concerns for a chief? Okay, moving on to the fire department, if we have anything from Chief Sanders. Okay. Moving on to City Administrator, Jamie. I would like permission for Mark to sign our new contract with CIC, our computer software. Uh, the invoice is for $3,170, um, which is actually down uh, $3,170. Thirty <laughs> um, I mean, can't deal with that then. Yeah, and it actually so they, gosh, how long were people down? They just got hacked. And Stafford was down for what a week. Yeah, so we actually house our own server, and um, if you didn't have your own server, you couldn't do anything. But Pam and I can still work because of the way we have it set up. So uh, that was nice. <coughs> Or not, I mean, you know, we could still get our work done, and it it worked out well. And it sounds like they got their stuff worked out. So what they get done? I I don't even know. Like we couldn't even go to their website. Mm. They had everything completely shut down. We've had to work out a few kinks, um, like with our meters and stuff, but everything's been good. So I just need permission for that. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. Uh, also, I got um, a letter and pictures from the health department uh, regarding 312 West Second. Um, I think some of you have seen <coughs> seen it. Um, it's in pretty bad condition. I know John will 
talk a little bit more about the process, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I've got a ton to add. The uh, There were three, four children, how many children? Four. Four kids were removed from the house. It's been clackers. That's she sick. told them that they had to stay out till further notice from her. Um, they're living. They were living Actually, in there. Actually, they believe it was five. Yeah, there was yeah, five. 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 Yeah, sorry, I was wrong on that. Five uh, children. This these individuals have been in municipal court. They had a dog that neighbor had let their dog out at like five or six o'clock in the morning, and she'd gone to check on it. And this dog had picked it up by the neck and killed it. Um, or the dog ran into the house and then died on the way to the vet. Um, so we have dealt with these individuals before. I guess my thought is and my concern is I'm not sure where we're going to draw the line on city stuff versus um, county stuff. If, it, if there's a child in need of care case open, um, I would think and hope the social workers will um, assist this family in getting their house cleaned up. Uh, so they can get the kids back. Um, I, your ordinances allow you to prosecute cases uh, for minimum housing standards, um, but I, I think that's probably being violated at this point anyways because Dustin drove by the house this evening and it looks like they're back in it. I don't think they've They haven't been out. Yeah. Just the kids were removed. There. So I guess I'm so confused even on the process. Like if well, she tells them not to be in there, is it? Normally we had done this process where they write the report and then we ask them to appear before council or a prosecutor in municipal court. But I just kind of spin my wheels because a they never have the money to do anything to clean up the house anyways. So they suffer fines and consequences through municipal court. And then nothing ever happens. I mean, you just can't squeeze blood out of a turnip. Um, so my thought is losing children would be incentive enough. And they have, I mean, they have been, like, I, they have a dumpster and they have been getting that dumped as often. But this <clears throat> sounds like to me it's more a health department issue. <laughs> It is, but you're, it's kind of overlapping in that your health person is also the health person of the city and she brought it here. I don't know what if any steps she's done there. But, but my thought is, I think we just kind of sit on it for right now. And we did when I was on scene. I did call the county health nurse and uh, had her come out and go through the house because we were legally there at that time. So I could have her come in and look. It wasn't like we were breaking contact and coming back. So I call them on any of those to have her come in. So Lisa's documented, and if she can do something about it, if, if she can get with them and, and either condemn a house or say that it's okay, whatever. Um, we we'll try to knock that out at each one that we go to when we run into a condition like that so we don't have to try and, and go back later and do it. I just try to knock it all out at that one shot. And can we having been involved in those types of cases in the past not for probably the last seven or eight years but you're just causing an added stressor and it's just going to take longer for them to do anything i think you just let them work through the, the system that they're in now and and if we need to we can but um I just thought, I don't, and, and she, Jamie reminded me about it before the meeting. I, I just uh, kind of want to avoid spending city resources on it. So she really didn't ask anything of us. She's just making us aware. She, yeah, I, yeah, that's what I guess I'm I mean, totally she, confused. She, 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 she just wants us in the same in the loop. I, normally, she gets involved. She notifies with them. She tries to work something out with them. Okay, with the, with the landowners. And, and here, a deed wasn't filed, so the landowners are not actually the person of record as far as the owner of the house. Um, they can then appeal to the governing body, you guys, um, and that's not been done. So that they, But they're violating 
per order to stay out of the house. So if you wanted to, we could commence a formal process and have them come in. I'm advising, let's not. Let's just let them deal with their stuff in the district court. And if we need to in the future, then, then we can. So it's brought to your attention now. My suggestion is we just allow the processes already in place to happen. And the kids are out of the house. I mean, I haven't been following the case, but that's my understanding. Yeah. With that, and I'm trying to avoid causing them further problems by the fact that we're in a public forum, but that's my understanding. Yes, they're, I have seen them at the other residence. Um, I mean, I'm sure they're going back. I don't know for sure. I'm not going to say positive. I have seen them over at the other residence that the courts have said that that's where they're to be. Um, and I drove by there today, and I, I seen the kids in the backyard. Um, so, I mean, they are over there. I don't know that they're back at the house. So. I'm going to go with John's recommendation. Yeah, I think we can just follow what uh, John is suggesting to do. Let's just leave, let the uh, county deal with it at the moment. We are made aware of it, so we know what's There's going just on. just other issues going on there. That yeah. And just the condition of the house. Wow. It, and, oh, we still want you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We don't need to move to me. Okay. Okay, anything else, Jamie? Um, Jubilee's next weekend, guys. <laughs> There you go. Okay. We're still Anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns for <coughs> Jamie? Uh, you don't need to pass the CMB. Uh, I have that under new business. Oh, Thank I'm you. sorry. Don't let me forget oh, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read it on the, well, you had it on the administrative then. report. Yeah. That's what I was reading. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, unless anybody's got any uh, questions, uh, more questions for Jamie, we'll move on to City Attorney and John. Um, as Alan brought up, we've had a number of dog bites. Uh, we do have a, a hearing set for Thursday, though it sounded when the owner of the dog was in that they're trying to remove that dog from town. But in preparation for that hearing, I did have an emergency come up uh, that I found out about this afternoon. Um, I don't want that slip through the cracks so I'm going to ask that council appoint my uh, partner who does handle other municipal type issues right. elsewhere yeah. to serve as uh, just a, an interim city uh, assistant city attorney to prosecute that one case if I could just get a, mo a motion to uh, approve Joshua Nicolay what was his name again? Nicolay and I see O L A Y. Joshua. 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 As the temporary city interim. interim temporary city. interim ass assistant. Okay. I'm not asking you to appoint a permanent assistant city attorney. <laughs> Just somebody that fill in for that one case. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Make a motion to appoint Joshua Nicola as interim assistant for temporarily. Temporarily. Sorry. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. The motion carries. Appreciate it. Anybody have any other questions, comments, or concerns for John? Okay, moving on to old business. Okay, anything for the ordinance 10, 1071 20 house? 1082 21. Give it all to Alan. What's that? I was thinking of a case that I need to talk to him about. <laughs> the, the, the housing numbers. Yeah, we're working. We have kind of slack. We haven't been. Um, we've got to get out there with everything that's been going on. Um, we've been kind of, kind of getting it handed to us and busy. Um, but yeah, we're we're getting on that and, and watching those. So, and it has gotten better. Uh, we just got to see what the difference is now. The ones we did before that were mailbox to not that not now under the new resolution that not being uh acceptable so now we're you know there was a few that i marked that they'd had it so we've got to go back and look at those okay all right uh anybody have any questions regarding the house the house numbers okay swimming pool it's gonna be filled friday right. so we're gonna take it off please remove it 
Um, if you would like to remove it, I would love that. I did put, I got a new whiteboard. Everyone wants to check it out. Um, I have pool repairs up there. Um, just as a reminder after the season that that, I, I'm going to continually talk to Chris over the summer and we're going to get pool repairs scheduled as soon as we so they want to do it in the fall, like after it's drained. I'm hoping so. They felt like they had a pretty good handle on what they did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take some. Okay. All right. Anything else uh, under the sewer report? I don't think so. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Property code violations. <clears throat> I left 401 East Fourth on there out of excitement. Okay. So. <laughs> I attempted to uh, go see a few properties today, um, 647 and 651 are full of stuff, um, 647 Beitlers, that one looks like more packed, we couldn't get into the structure, but it, it I mean it looks like things were boxed up and just so I mean the garage is still full the yellow house on the corner I would not go much further than the door Marshall <laughs> I called Marshall out because I was too scared um I mean there's just gigantic holes and it was raining inside the house it's disgusting so it's, I it's full of the clothes dirt. furniture beds um, and then 808 North Broadway, I walked up to the door and opened it, and I'm not going any further. Mm. Hey, which one had holes in the floor? Uh, the East 5th, 651 East 5th. Probably that one, but you can't see them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're and So, I mean... If you, if you can't even... And nobody can get there to clean the stuff out. I mean, and no, that's my concern. I don't know what to do to even move forward no, with I mean, cleaning it, it out. If it's not even safe for a human to dig it in there to just take pictures of the holes and let's move on. Yeah. Yeah, but, but we got to, if we're going to tear them down, we, that stuff can't go to the landfill. Unless, and this would be a question for Chad, he might be able to put it all in his roll off dumpsters and haul it all to Barton County. Because Barton County and our landfill are two totally different landfills. Right. They have a line pit, we don't. So they can take some of that stuff. Okay. So it may cost more to have it hauled there, but I, I don't know. I can tell you one thing. I've cleaned out one house, and Ryan helped me, along with some other people, and it was bad. It was horrible. I mean, if the elements have gotten to this stuff, then it's really... I mean, I don't, I don't know anyone that would care about the pay to get paid to yes. clean these houses. Up. Like, I mean, it's just horrible. I can't believe you don't have to do it. Yeah, I can't believe you guys did that either. Yeah, that's what I live up to. It was, it was okay till we <laughs> opened the freezer. Well, we breathed in whatever that nasty stuff was in that house. I don't think the one on 651 East 5th is safe to have people in there trying to clean it out. I mean, the floor is literally rotted out of it in places. I mean, it's you're, you're looking at the dirt and the insulation and stuff that's falling down on there. And North Broadway has to be, I mean, it's open. There's so holes. When you remove this stuff, can you, can you physically see the personal property is inside of it? I mean, are they going to be able to tell when you're throwing it away that... They they claim, yes, at, at the county landfill. Yeah, they, they've complained several yeah. times when we have, so... Yeah, that's good. The, but but yeah. it, the, that stuff's probably safer than some of the building products, the asbestos and that kind of other stuff that could be in it. Yeah, I, I don't you know. You can't take that out there. You can't, you can't take caulking, paint cans, anything like that out there. Well, and see, can, that, that's why Barton County is different. I think Barton County and Reno County that's are what different because they've to. got, you know, in, instead of sending somebody in a house to clean it out, then people are just going to be out of luck with whatever they left yeah. in there. Okay. 
Any more discussion? What do you have to tear off of it? Or, like, you have to have it inspected. Inside. You have to have it inspected. Oh, yeah. Um, can I request <coughs> some tree work to be done? <laughs> you do? With that. You need oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, unless there's anything else uh, we'd like to discuss uh, regarding the property code violations, move on to. Uh, oh, real quick. Did okay. we figure out what it costs to turn around that house? Fourth Street? Yes. I have not. Looks good though. It looks wonderful. Yeah, it does. I it didn't does. know if Chad ever had an idea of what it cost us. I mean, he hasn't sent anything. Where, I saw you guys raise the sewer line up. Where's that sewer line go? East? Underneath Anna's house. The main runs under the garage right north and south. I know, but yeah. I didn't know if it goes. Yeah, it, it does. does. Uh, Clay tile. Yes, it is. Uh, might be an interesting thing to do. Yeah, like and you but did there's get no a way to get anywhere company. else. See, because they both. Yes, gas company was informed. The one west back of it, and that one both. At the both beginning north of, and south, right? or at the or end so. of 2020, and told them that we would be working on these at the beginning of 2021. So. So do we need to double check the gas company and make sure they've done their part? I can double check them. Because, I mean, we don't need to be going in tearing down houses and then have to call them back in to yeah. fix yeah, issues. I saw them around. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they didn't do all of them. I don't yeah. know. But, yeah. Or maybe we just need to look and make, because typically I think on the ones we tore down on 2nd Street, they come in and pull drivers and everything yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. And that's what they'll do. Well, maybe I can call yeah. Kurt and just ask him if he'll double check them for me. Yeah. Because if not, I mean, they could take them. A month to get out here and get that stuff done. Okay, anything else? So you're going to get a bid then on hollowing them all? Yeah, I'll talk to Chad and just see if that's even an option. And get us, get us our total in that. Fourth Street. So we know what we're up against on these others. So, so what about um, the houses on First Street? Like, as far as, is there a bunch of stuff in those? No, we're... Everything that, uh, if I remember right, the north house, everything in it like can go right out here. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, it's it's construction it's material. Yeah. yeah, there's no trash, really, per se, in that. There's some metal that... Yeah. So we're looking at three par properties for sure that need to be... Yeah, the two on, on each of them. Well, the bottom three. Yeah, right. The trailer 112. Got some stuff in there, but no. One twelve stuff. We haven't really moved forward on that one. Oh. That's the one that does have stuff in it, and it's been, I mean, it's not open like these other ones. Okay. Two. South and Maryland. Who's the name on it? Bob, two. two. Oh. I think we have a picture. <laughs> we have a... I think he may have passed away. No. 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 What was the letter I sent you? That was Tririana. Oh, gosh. I got rid of him, remember? Oh, I shouldn't say that if you I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> for us we should move on. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the uh, truck parking. Got anything on that? Um, I met with EVH yesterday, and he's going to write up 40. What he knows and get it sent over for us. Um, he mentioned wanting to drain it to the west, just the way that everything um, lined out. And I told him I didn't think that anything flowed that way. And he said, "Well, where does the the highway drain?" And I said, "It sits there." <laughs> so, but I think Ross had told me it does kind of drain to the south a little bit. So he's gonna get us what we need, and then I'm kind of hoping we can give that to Phil and see if they'd be interested in a day's work out there and or however many. It'd be a lot more if they want to make water go to the west. Well he said because you're gonna to to make it go west and south. Yeah. North. He said that you get north that you north. can cut it and take it to the the highway, it wouldn't be a problem. So he talked like it shouldn't be too big of a deal.
Okay. Moving on to Media for Nitrate facility. So, Jason and I were talking about this. Do you guys <coughs> care if we take this off? He has the nitrate plant running good and the water... Um, I'm thinking the water table's up because the nitrates are so low. It's way low. That has not regen in probably four months. It's just that low, guys. So I, I told her, I said, take it off. We'll worry about it when that time comes. But it's, it it's incredibly way. low. I've never seen it this low. I'm going to buy a board and take it off. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Just so it's <coughs> back of our mind. All right. So we got any uh, updates on the engine for a power plant? Nope. Nothing? Okay. And finally, bulk water. I mean, they kind Coming of went over well, too. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, moving on to new business, CMB license for Jubilee. Can I please have a beer garden? Yep. I just Make a motion. a motion to approve Jamie for a CMB license for the Jubilee. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. I have, I have a question on Jubilee just while we're here. Rides. When are those coming? When are we going to have to block the streets? I just hadn't heard, so I was just curious. They usually come on Friday. Thursday afternoon. Thursdays? Okay. Yeah. So Friday. Okay. I just, and it's still just We usually fun. just drop barricades there and just Fourth do that one block, yeah, yeah for quite a while. I'll send an email to the county because they kind of get grumpy about it. Affect my lawn from that. They're going to have to move their. Actually, I'm okay with this part of this. Do they actually use it while they're here? No, they actually do use yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Every year. They use it walk off at the intersection at the courthouse. So they yeah. That half yeah. a block. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably have the guys block everything off their Zoom morning just to have it done. <laughs> Usually just drop them and wait on him and close it up when he gets pulled in. Okay, moving on to executive sessions. We have a 10-minute uh, executive session on elected personnel uh, regarding the pool. I thought that was five. Yeah, 10 minutes seems a little excessive. Five. <coughs> Let's do five. You want to do five? I, I just have the information. You originally said 10, so if it's five, five that's fine with me. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. All in favor? Motion carries. We will resume at 8.17. Call this meeting back to order. I'd make a motion to hire Stephanie Smith as the manager at $6,000 for the season. Um, Allison Smith as the assistant manager at $10.50 an hour. Hunter Smith, Peyton Meyer, and Adrian Adami at eight fifty an hour, and the new hires Jade Portillo, Mackenzie Hacker, and Paige Mansell at eight twenty five an hour. Second. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. Okay, we have a 10-minute executive session under the police department for non-elected personnel, attorney-client privilege. So moved. Second. Second. No motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. We'll resume at 8.28. We'll call this meeting back to order. You can email that. That's just the budget worksheets. Are they done? All of them? I'll just email them to it. And then you guys can just pick which ones you want? Yes. Okay. Deal. Okay. Having no more business, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. I have a motion and a second on the table. Any more discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Meeting adjourned.